Usually most of the YouTubers build PCs specifically for games, and this is not surprising because the gaming community is very large. But what to do if you're a designer, video editor, or you just work with graphics and you need a computer for work? What components should you choose? What should you put more attention on and how to allocate your budget correctly? If you ask yourself all these questions, then we have good news for you, because recently one of our subscribers asked us exactly the same questions and we've kindly agreed to build a PC for him. In our video we'll find all all the answers to your questions and you will understand what you need approximately. First of all, we'll show you and comment on all the components that we've selected. Then you will find exciting tests, so make yourself comfortable, have some tea and let's get started. We won't build an ordinary PC because our subscriber is engaged in a very usual activity. He creates high-speed bots and we're certainly not talking about CSGO. This means that it needs a powerful CPU with a high frequency for each core and of course a large number of these cores to run these bots simultaneously as many as possible. That's why we put a lot of emphasis on the CPU and I have located a significant part of the budget for it, because multitasking is the main thing for our subscriber. As a processor we've got the box version of the most productive Ryzen 7 and here it is, 3800X. It has 8 cores and 16 threads. And then Zen 2 architecture allows its clock to run up to 4.5 GHz with Turbo Boost. This CPU is perfect for video editing, for working with photos, image editors and in general for any work with multitasking. To unlock the maximum potential of the CPU, we've chosen the motherboard X470 Gaming Plus Max from MSI. This is a very high quality motherboard for the optimal cost. It is equipped with good quality radiators and has all the necessary ports and connectors. The most important thing is the X470 chipset, which will allow you to upgrade your PC in the future. Although with Ryzen 3800X in the next couple of years, you will hardly need an upgrade. We're building an unusual PC for interesting tasks and 16GB of memories and game builds will not be enough for us. 32GB is our choice. But if you need more memory, our motherboard has two more slots for RAM. Our subscriber wants a powerful and beautiful and most important white PC, so we've taken Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, a 32GB kit with a frequency of 3200 MHz. It's a great memory with CL16 timings. As drives, we decided to use a 240GB SSD from HyperX Fury with RGB. This is a very high quality drive that can allow you Windows to work very, very quickly. And of course, everyone's favorite, time-tested HDD from WD Blue on 1TB for storing most files. At the request of our subscriber, we're using a water cooler to cool the processor. That's why we've chosen the Kraken X53 from NZXT, which is a very high quality water cooler that will perfectly cope with cooling our PC and will give it a stylish and modern look. Yes, we built a PC for work, but our subscriber said that sometimes he would play on this computer. We immediately thought about Quad HD resolution and RTX from Nvidia. We've taken RTX 2060 Super as the video card. This graphics card perfectly copes with Quad HD resolution at high graphics settings. We've chosen the most budget optimal version from PNY. It is equipped with two fans and a conventional small radiator. This is probably the cheapest version of the 2060 Super that we've seen, but it's made of high quality and if you consider that we are building this PC is not for gaming, it turns out that this is the ideal option for us. As a power supply unit we have the Focus Plus Gold 650 watts from Seasonic. It looks just amazing. It is a really very very high quality power supply that is very popular and has a very good reputation. It perfectly fits our build. As a case we have H510 from NZXT. It looks just amazing and minimalistic, it's quite heavy and you can immediately feel that it is very high quality. The side window is made of tempered glass and we see a purple NZXT sticker on it that will go well with the water cooler which we also have from NZXT. The case is white as our subscriber wanted and everything is thought out to the smallest detail. We think that he will like it very much. Now we're finishing building the PC and then start testing. It was a great pleasure to build this PC, because all the components we've selected are made with special attention to detail. Everything is thought out to the smallest detail, especially we felt it in the products from NZXT. This PC looks very stylish and minimalistic, and the backlight is just fascinating. You can spend a lot of time admiring its appearance. The water cooler looks good. Even on the video card there is a luminous white stripe. We're very happy with the design of this powerful monster. We decided to start testing with a few benchmarks. We run 
on CPU-Z and see that all the components are displayed correctly. Let's compare our CPU with other processors in the CPU-Z benchmark. Our CPU has 5734 points in multi-threaded mode and 517 points per core. This is a better result than the usual 3800X. We put Game Boost and surpass the stock state by as much as 260 points. That is 5734 points against 5589 without overclocking. We launched the 8064 stress test and simultaneously the Fermax stress test loaded the video card at 100%. With this load after 20 minutes our CPU has heated up to 85 degrees. You may think that's a lot, but in fact we control everything. We specially reduced the fan speed in order to minimize noise from the PC. You should understand that with normal use the computer will never get such extreme loads as with these stress tests. And if you want, since the noise is not a problem for you, you can easily reduce the temperature by increasing the speed of the fans on the water cooler. We're launching 3D Mark Time Spy, the best gaming performance benchmark, and our CPU has 10,458 points and the GPU has 8,941 points. Well, in general we got 9139 points, which is a very good result. In Cinebench R20 we got as much as 5072 points, so we have overtook absolutely all the processors from the list that is normal in this program. The results are better only for very expensive Intel Xeon and AMD Threadripper. Ok guys, let's go to the games. This is the first time when we play Minecraft with RTX, and what we see is just amazing, this is what ray tracing should look like. Of course this may sound very strange, but you will not see such graphics as in Minecraft in any game right now. Ray tracing has turned this game into a sandbox from which you really do not want to get out. But even our GTX 2060 Super Graphics card had a hard time coping with this game. In Quad HD resolution with less than 60 frames, even with DLSS enabled, Red Dead Redemption 2, Vulkan Graphics Engine, Quad HD resolution and mix graphic settings set by the GeForce Experience utility. In the upper left corner of your monitor, you can see a graph that will display all important information during tests such as CPU and GPU load, temperature, FPS and frequency. And in this game benchmark we got an average of 62 FPS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Quad HD resolution and the optimal settings were set by GeForce Experience Utility. The game's internal benchmark our CPU is less than 50% loaded. The video card is fully loaded and tries its best. Of course the result of loading was obvious. In general, our PC has shown excellent results in this game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the highest graphic settings and we see that our PC copes perfectly with this game. Please note that even in the most demanding games our CPU is heated no more than 60 degrees. This means that even with low fan speeds our water cooler copes with cooling perfectly without creating unnecessary noise. Well, let's move on. Battlefield 5, ultra graphic settings and we play in multiplayer. We think you have already noticed that during all the tests our GPU was loaded to the maximum while our CPU was just resting. But this is absolutely normal because from the very beginning we planned to build a PC for work and only a little for games. So we've spent most of, of the budget on the CPU, but if you want to build a gaming PC then you'd better do the opposite and spend more money on the video card. Choose the coolest one and take the Ryzen 5 3600 or even the Ryzen 3 3300X as the processor. PUBG is the most popular battle royal. This game with ultra graphic settings makes us happy showing a stable good result, like other games. Well, the FPS counter didn't show less than 65 frames. Fortnite and Epic graphic settings. And this school fun continues surprising us with poor optimization, showing us small bugs. And even with such powerful PC, we still have a lot of questions to the developers of this game. Did they want to say that 32GB of RAM, RTX 2060 Super and Ryzen 3800X are not enough for this game? Ok guys, we hope they'll fix it soon. Metro Exodus is a very demanding game and even with ultra graphic settings, the internal performance benchmark shows us a very decent result. The game behaves smoothly and shows good FPS, and the graphics looks just amazing. Forza Horizon 4 is one of the best racing games, and in Quantus G resolution at the most extreme graphic settings we see an average of 78 FPS. This is an excellent result that will allow you to get the maximum pleasure from this game. All games on this PC show us the smoothness and beauty of the picture. Playing and working on this PC is a wonderful experience. It is important to note that we recorded all the games using the Shadow Play program, so you will have even more FPS when you use it in normally.
So guys, we've managed to build a very powerful, stylish and minimalistic PC which will be very pleasant to work on. We think our subscriber will be happy. If you want to build the same PC, then all the links to the components from this video you will find in the description. Post your comments down below and tell us what computer you would build for work. We are very interested to know your opinion. And you can even drop the list of components in the comments, it will be very useful for someone. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, we'll soon show you even more interesting videos. Bye!